The disaster recovery policy addresses controls A, 1.2, and 1.3. This policy defines the activities that are necessary to get critical processes up and running again. The goal is not normalcy, but rather to ensure that a minimum necessary function is restored to your business. Your recovery policy should address personnel, physical, and digital questions. Regarding personnel, do you have expedited approvals in place for hiring contractors or employees, possibly in an alternate location? Regarding physical systems, do you have a secondary office or a plan for employees to work from home? Regarding your information systems, you should highlight your redundancy architecture, specify your test schedule, and document any expected data loss and the restoration time categorized by disaster type. For example, in the event of a server loss, a data center loss, or a region loss, you may have very different data loss and recovery times specified. You'll want to drill this procedure annually as well as any time you make a major change to your architecture.